Welcome. In this session in Linear Data Analysis, we'll explore Principal Components Analysis, or PCA, as a problem of maximizing a mapping. So let's recall that we have zero mean data in a matrix M, and there are M observations, and there are N variables. Now let's consider a, an input to this matrix, and let's call that any vector U, and so that'll be all real numbers, and there will be N of them. And then suppose that we want to maximize the output. So what we want to do is maximize this matrix M times any vector that has all real numbers and n entries. Well, what do we mean by maximize that? So maximize a vector, that's not clear. But instead, let's maximize the, let's use the L2 vector norm. And let's suppose we want to maximize the L2 norm of that. So instead of maximizing a vector, we'll maximize the norm. And then to make it a little easier, let's maximize the square of the norm. Because if we maximize a number and maximize the square of the number, we're going to end up at the same place. This has a very simple formulation. So how could we write this? Well, let's recall that for the L2 or Euclidean norm, that the squared norm of a vector is the vector transpose times the vector. So that means this has to equal this inner part is m times u transposed times m u. And if we then do this transposition, that will be u transpose m transpose m u. And what is m transpose m? That is the scatter matrix. So the problem of maximizing the squared norm of the product of the zero mean data and any input vector, that is the same as trying to maximize the quadratic form. So to max to maximize the quadratic form is our new problem. And the way that we can solve that is from the spectral decomposition, we can determine that that, maxim that, that maximum is the solution w to that, the way that we phrase it is an argmax problem. So what we do is we say that that's the, what we want is the argument maximum. Let's recall the difference between a maximum and an argument maximum. A maximum will return the value of whatever we write. The argument maximum is the argument that returns that maximum value. And generally, we're really interested in the argmax problem. So that's the argmax problem of all you that have real entries and n. And now let's constrain that somewhat, because we don't want to pick a bunch of things that are nearly infinite, right? Let's constrain that so that we're only looking at vectors that have a unit norm. And if we constrain our vectors to unit norm, and we're trying to maximize u transpose s u, then we find that w is the maximum eigenvector of the matrix s. And we can use the spectral decomposition, and we can write s times any vector u using the spectral decomposition as and when we do that, what we find is when we then when we then multiply u transpose, that the maximum value is achieved when u is the eigenvector of the largest eigenvalue of the matrix. So this original problem of maximizing the output or the mapping of an input vector.
is the same as finding the maximum eigenvalue, and that is the principal loading vector of our data.